picture, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Muhammad, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. So we just showed on the screen the photograph of uh, former President Barack Obama before he was president with um, Louis Farrakhan. You took that picture. Where was it? It was in the Congressional Black Caucus meeting room. Actually, I was looking at the picture, and if you look very, very closely, you can see on some of the uh, people, they have a sticker. This is HC9, which is the one of those caucus rooms in the basement of the, yes. of the uh, Capitol where meetings are held, and that's where it was uh, taking place. So why have we never seen this picture before? Well, a couple of things. Uh, I was sort of honor-bound. Uh, Immediately, the day of the picture that was taken, um, I was on Capitol Hill. I worked out of the Senate radio TV gallery at the time. Um, a staff member from the Black Caucus called me and said, we have to have the picture back. And I was kind of taken aback. And, um, and it's like, you know, so we talked a couple of times on the phone after that. And I said, OK, well, I'll give the picture to Minister Farrakhan's chief of staff, who is Leonard Farrakhan Muhammad. He's shown on the far left of the picture. And uh, I gave the original disc to him and, in a sense, swore myself to secrecy because I had quietly made a copy for myself. Just, it's my picture, it's my art, it's my intellectual property. Right. And I, you know, I, I wanted it, I owned it, and I wanted to keep it. And, and so it wasn't my place to... But why would people from the Congressional Black Caucus or the Nation of Islam headquarters in Chicago not want that picture to come out? Well, I don't think it was so much the Nation of Islam, but rather the Black Caucus. Uh, perhaps they uh, sensed the future. This was 2005 now. There were no, uh, he had just been in the office a few months. Um, but the idea, and in fact, he had people from the Nation of Islam working on his staff in his office in Chicago, his Senate staff. Uh, the uh, members of the Nation of Islam helped him in his Senate campaign on the south side of Chicago. So, uh, but I think as people considered the ambitions, the thought was Minister Farrakhan and his reputation would hurt someone trying to win acceptance in the broad right. cross-section. Did, did he have contact with anyone from the Nation of Islam as a senator or as president that you know of? Uh, not that I know of. I, he, he did have, uh, as I know, as I recall, there was a member of the Nation of Islam in Chicago worked on his staff, on his office in Chicago, his constituent services office in Chicago. But I never knew her. I never knew her name. But uh, at some point um, in his, uh, you know, at some point she was no longer on his staff. I don't think it was a, a acrimonious departure, but she just wasn't on his staff anymore. So w was um, Louis Farrakhan or members of the Nation of Islam, were they offended that President Obama wanted to distance himself from them? Some were. Many were. Many were angry. Many were hurt that not only did uh, Senator Obama uh, denounce Minister Farrakhan, he rejected him. Uh, in the same interview uh, appearing, uh, I've forgotten what, what it was, with uh, 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 Senator, Hill, uh, Senator Clinton. Yes. And uh, she uh, went after him about, well, I rejected the support of some people that uh, she considered unacceptable in New York when she was running for Senate and really demanded that he do the same. And so he said, okay, if it'll satisfy you, I'll reject him too. And so people in the nation uh, have a sensitivity about this and feel that uh, we've often been made, uh, Minister Farrakhan has certainly been a litmus test for people, uh, whether it was fair or not, because people who want that acceptability in the crossover, you right. might say, um, can't stand the um, inquisition that comes with being associated with Minister Farrakhan. Well, I wish it had come out earlier, because I, I think it makes for an interesting conversation wherever you fall along the spectrum. Thank you for coming on tonight, Mr. Rahman. Thanks for having me on. that picture and telling us what it's about.